announcing Jane the Disco Queen. Can I be an 80s daydream? Can I dance real slow, baby? I know you want to even gonna lie i don't know what's coming to houston as far as like weather wise but literally when i say my body is telling me something's coming my body is telling me something's coming it could be something small but something's about to happen and be it rain or be it snow I'm here for it. <laughs> like, I'm ready. Like, when I first got my tires, I was like, oh shit, I gotta drive in rain. Just because I don't like driving in rain as much as I love rain in general. <sighs> and it's like, I'm ready. Like, a few days ago, I told myself, that I was ready to drive in rain. <laughs> and I love that for me. Like, and I'm not talking about like just regular rain. I'm talking about Houston weather flood rain. Cause like, I know I'll be good. I'm always good. I'm highly protected. I know that about me. For me, it's just all about conquering the fever and getting braver. Like literally, I am. <laughs> Like, granted, I'd be freaked out, but those are my adventures. Like, that's what I do. I'd be like, okay, we in the motherfucking trenches. We in the water. We in the jungle. So, hey, calm down. Make me hurt you. Get over here. Stop. Because this is a kid. It's gonna split your eyeball. You ain't gonna have no eyeball. And that's an ugly ass cat, so I know he a hater. <laughs> and then, after all of that, I get 777 divided between two cars as an angel number. I've officially graduated. I no longer can eat my favorite candy. <laughs> oh, but on the bright side, it was nice. It really was. But okay, I'm here for this. But I need some chocolate. And I thought that was going to help. And they've changed the formula. So I don't like it, Pink. It tastes like a nutty bar to me, like the um on the snack aisle where the bread is, where you get like the damn the little cupcakes and the Debbie cakes and stuff like that. Like it tasted like that little peanut butter chocolate thingy, and I used to love that as a kid, but I I stopped liking that a long time ago, and that's what it tastes like. And I'm just like, mm, no, got to go, but. This means I'm just on a chocolate mission. Like, I, of course, I need to make cookies again since I found two chocolate chips that give me the chocolate effect I like. So, we're going to make that. And hopefully that is, like, the end of my quest and I finally have, like, my chocolate fix craving in a form. But, yes, I want chocolate and I can't even feel that crave right now because there is nothing absolutely nothing that works so yeah and everybody had the patience and the drive to just create 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 everybody can be a millionaire literally literally so i'm about to go get my nail fixed before work but i just want to point out my nail is super duper uber 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 duper strong love that for me so before I go in here real quick, I just want to speak on the simple fact that literally every time I tell her to cut my nails that 
are cracking she never cuts them and so when i told her to just go ahead and cut the thumb because i saw the thumb basically was gonna be off anyway but it's like especially for my thumb it's like i just knew i was gonna be back i was like oh she gonna break real quick and sure enough she broke quick so i just wanted to speak that up because literally even your favorite people you enjoy going to don't always listen to you and it's not even out of sense of just not listening to you but honestly like me personally like i know sometimes i may not listen to my clients but it's just more so just like you know you're good you're okay like type of thing but if my client is very adamant about the same thing for the same thing every time one thing I want to do is be very knowledgeable to the fact like, okay, this customer, this is something that she really hones in on and takes care of. And if she keeps telling me, yeah, every time a nail cracks, it eventually breaks, just cut it off. So I do want to say that, like, although I love my nail lady, I shouldn't be here right now. So, yeah, just wanted to point that out. And also fix my hair before I go in here. Because I didn't really fluff it when I left the house. Is that a sign of time for you, you know? Yeah. Because sometimes they'd be like pushing for an hour and a half and come in. Oh, I want a full set with. Y'all nigga move that dope. Y'all nigga move that dope. Y'all move that dope. Y'all move that dope. Y'all nigga 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 move that dope. Clothes that's coming on saw in the buffalo. I know we're really with the triggers that's on the banana clippers and packing with the biggest missiles. These 
these niggas is knocking over me hip hop. These niggas ain't waiting just to see niggas. These niggas ain't trying to hear please niggas. These niggas like chopping down trees niggas. These niggas want to free and they squeeze niggas. These niggas hit the weed and they leave niggas. G nigga. If you got two hoes, you need to let one go. Two Lambos, you need to let one go. All these drones while y'all smoke dope, there's a high in the sky. I'm trying to let y'all know. Ain't no standards, I'ma set one though. Big ass bag, but no man sando. All that war, we need to let that go. That bone bend it, I'ma get there. I don't really just care for her, but I can tolerate her 100%. I can tolerate her. I can be cordial. We can have good conversations, but just as a person, as a business, all of that, absolutely not. Like, I don't respect you. You don't know what you're doing. Blah, 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 blah. But she just called me because um, I did a pit stop to get my nail fix. We got our nails fixed. Okay, so I'm not supposed to be there till like a good 10.30. So she called and basically was going to tell me to come in a little bit later. And it's the fact that she was worried about me. And she was like, okay, because it's like Camille's never late. I was worried. And it's like, it's so funny because even when I'm late, I'm never late. <laughs> but when I'm past like that 15 minute mark, oh, baby. They worry. <laughs> and that's for everybody. Everybody be worried about me. And it's like, most of you people treat me like shit as it is. But you sure do worry about me. And they're right there. If they're not worried about you like that, that means they don't fuck with you for real. So let that be a lesson. And then if they worry about you and they treat you like shit, why would you want that energy as someone that you fuck with type of shit? So <laughs> I just got in from the store and I was getting these sprites and they were like literally at the back of the shelf stacked up high and I really couldn't reach them so I'm on my tippy toes trying to reach it so I could pull it and it's so cute because well it's cute and it's funny it's cute because a little old man is the person out of everybody who ever helps me an old man 
is the one who was like, do you need help? And I was like, nah, I got it. Because by the time he asked me if I needed help, by the time I got it, you know, I didn't really need the help. But I also, I think it's so cute. Because how you going to be an old man and tell about you need help? Man, not granted, you still a man. But no, I'm supposed to be helping you. Now you helping me, but no, that was cute, and I appreciate that because people really be watching me struggle in the grocery store, try to get shit that I can't reach. Like I be door the explorer in this grocery store. I climb on shelves, I climb in freezers, like I climb, I will crawl, I will do what the fuck I gotta do in the store to get what I gotta get because no one really wants to help me anyway so yeah <laughs> adventures in the grocery store oh i think that's the electric cat i think this is the electric cadillac it's not that cute to me i don't like that body oh i got his hand it's so good i tripping but before i forget <laughs> it's funny because my favorite person is finally back from being gone and it's funny because all day long I was looking at the book and all day long the end of the day was not booked at all. Baby, I feel like I said this before, but when I say I don't make no money when a certain someone is running the show, I don't make no money. But when this other person is here, I make money. And not money in the sense of, well, 100%, I do know she be doing that favoritism shit. Because what she don't realize is she got that demeanor like my grandma be having. <laughs> so yeah, bitch. But, and then number two, she just don't know what she's doing. Like, she really don't know what she's doing. And so, I finish a person, and when I finish that person, now when I was doing that person, I seen her doing some things, and I just seen her just, you know, Knowing who the client is and knowing, you know, how much time it is. You know, looking through the notes as each person books up. So then, I just noticed her, you know, doing accordingly stuff. So then, once I finish, I go look just to see if anything booked up and, you know, where I'm at in my day. And, you know, I see people under me and I'm like, oh... when did these people pop up and she was like oh yeah they popped up and i just moved it around and you know made it even and you know basically a peaceful day for everybody and so then i was like oh okay because like if i can go home early i'm going home early but i want to make money so like i'm like okay well then because like I'm always looking at my books because I'm always just basically, you know, telling myself, like, I'm counting how many people I have. And then at the same time, I'm like, okay, I'm almost to this quota. I'm almost to that quota. Like, literally. So, when one person moved in, I had two more people to do. And so then I just go sit outside, ask where my next person is. She tells me where my next person is. And this is the other person that don't know how to do their job. So then I go from having two people to one person. And it's like, what happened between that? Because I am get I get told to go on break. And I come back and I'm left with one person type of thing. And it's like, what are you doing? Because when I looked at the books, it was literally everybody, each everybody had something. Now, yes, I know some cancel, some da 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 da, but at the end of the day, like the last person who was still working on a client shouldn't have been working on that client type of thing. Like, granted, she still had enough time, but if anything was kept at the same whether someone canceled or not 
everybody could have finished in enough time where everyone had a chance to sit down clean up do what they have to do and then chop the deuces type of thing so granted i did leave early but at the same time you know the last person standing really shouldn't have been the last person standing like that so yeah i'm about to get my doggies water so he can eat ah you stop that so we can eat and then i'm gonna show you my little grocery haul it's not a grocery store haul it's kind of just like um i guess an essential items haul hey bitch. yay that's a new title so hopefully i remember that or it didn't be if you listen to this it's about five minutes long so i may listen to it so yeah we about to get this shit going Mr. Sir didn't finish his food last night, so he's eating left and leftovers. And I'm like, bitch, I love that for you. Like, you eating leftovers? <laughs> Amen. And when I say leftovers, I mean actual dog leftovers. So, love that for you. And my pockets. Go eat. Go on. Eat your food. Take off the fufu, take off the clouches, take off the wafa, take off the uniform, take off the car loan, take off the flex and the white loss, take off the weird ass jewelry, I'ma take the steps that I'm taking off top off, take off the fabricate streams and the microwave memes, it's a real world outside, take off your idols, take off the wrong take off the Kylo, take off the sandal, pistol, 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 take